Hey y'all. Hey. Hey y'all. I gotta figure out something else to say. Because since we about to talk about what we about to talk about, that just reminded me. But anyway, things always happen for a reason. It's all, listen, anytime, listen, don't question it. Okay, just let it go how it go. All right. Now, listen, I try. I know I uploaded it already today. I uploaded again after that because I was just talking about Five Babe a little bit, right? In her video this morning. All right, but the video would not upload. Oh, y'all, and I'm eating my dinner. This is my dinner. <laughs> y'all, I got, need something to settle my stomach, and everybody been gone all day, so I didn't cook today, y'all. I know it's Sunday. I didn't cook. Ain't nobody been at home. They all went to do their thing. And But anyway, so this is my dinner. Because, you know, like when you need something to settle your stomach or what you hungry but you don't know what to eat, get you something that got some good broth, a soup or a noodle or something like that. But anyway, so I tried to upload the video twice, all right? And it wouldn't upload. So I canceled the upload and then I'm like, so I canceled the upload and then I see Tracy is live and it says she live, she's talking to Five Babe. I'm like, okay, let me go see what's going on. So Five Babe, you know, she talking, she talking about what's going on or whatever. They having a good conversation. And then Mona comes in the chat. So Mona comes in the chat and then Mona wants to talk and then she's wanting to call in. So she wants to call in and, um... Five Babe was like, I don't care if she call in, but, you know, I just don't like when she be trying to talk over her, everything, blah, 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 whatever. So, Tracy was like, okay. And so, they finished their conversation. She's like, Mona can call in after. So, okay, cool. Mona calls in, and I swear to goodness, shout out to y'all that was in the chat. Shout out to y'all because I'm not the only one that sees like it always ends up being about her. This was supposed to be strictly about her sending a clip to on-site April. The situation that happened, how did she feel about Five Babe? You know, basically her and Five Babe situation on on-site April. That's what it was supposed to be about. It ain't have shit to do with no nothing else. No money, no nothing. You know, and then I can't respect Tracy for tonight's video and I know she don't give a fuck and that's all good but you know like I, I even commented like I'm not trying to dis disrespect your chat but she don't want to show proof or nothing she mad because people she was talking about showing proof of her uh surgery scar and I'm like well she asked me to show my birth certificate and show proof my race you know I mean she ain't no different you want me to show you the bottom of my feet to show you I ain't no dirty white bitch but you know what I'm saying? You want to say, I got four stomachs, and I'm the Michelin man, but girl, the bottom of your legs look like, you know, you, you've been eating salt all your life, like salt all day, every day, like you having a fucking reaction. But anyway, so Tracy tells her chat before Mona came on the phone, like, don't disrespect Mona while she's still on the phone with Five Bad. And it's like, okay, fine. But then Mona gets on the phone and I mean, she totally disrespects the chat. The people in the chat didn't call Mona no name. They didn't no, call her like no cussing at her, no none of that shit. They might have said she be lying. They said, you know, ask about this, this and that. Or, you know, we heard enough, Mona. You know, we only want to hear from Mona. Okay. But she can get on the phone and call your chat all types of bitches and hoes and and they dumb and they don't think critically and they not thinking for themselves. She always want to say somebody ain't thinking for themselves and and just everybody is just all we just all like in a big crowd like doom 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 just following whatever is against Mona. No girl. No. No. Those are the people that you're trying to recruit so they can follow you like that. I'm sorry. So I respect that. That's why people say Tracy is biased when it comes to Mona. Mona can use her platform to recruit new people, to give her sob story. She go, we ain't, we almost lost everything last year. We just, we just ain't got nothing. I've been fighting an insurance company all my life. Girl, shut the fuck up. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, people tired of hearing it. Like, it comes to a point, like, girl, like, you just went all off topic. It always comes back to that. You got to reel her back in, like, come on, come on. Come on back, back, back to reality now. Back to the subject. Why? Because she wants to go off on these rants. She wants to give her a sob story. She wants to hope that she had, can have, at least hook about five of men off her chat. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, then, of course, the more she talks, guess what, huh? The more she talks, how she really feels will come out. So, at first, it started off, no, um, you know, she shaded me. I tried to contact on-site April just because I couldn't contact her directly and tell her, you know, I don't have no problem with her. She called me. We had a good conversation. We're both black queens, and we're going to do this thing right, and we're going to show people you can get along, and yes. But then she shaded me again, and then again. And then the more she talks, the more she talks. Well, you know, this ain't the first time I heard this about 5A. Well, you know, Auntie April ain't say nothing bad about her. Well, you know, I don't trust 5A. I know you got, and then here she go. You know, 5A, you know, I've been hearing things, but I know, but you know, and 5A, and I don't trust her now, and there she go. How she really feel. It ends up coming out. Keep talking. Keep talking. Just let her rant. Just let her rant. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep on talking. You know. But this this is the thing. These are the things that she says. Is, you know, people ain't thinking for themselves. They're dumb. They're not thinking critically. Um, they, you know, they listen to other people. They just some dumb hoes that maybe y'all the ones doing it. Maybe y'all the ones. And, and I proved this. And I proved that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't prove nothing. No, you didn't. So, we know how she really feel about Five A. We know why Five A had got every right to shade her because, and see, this is the thing: it ain't about what you say to somebody directly. It's not about what you do to them directly. It's just about when you just know people is about to fuck shit. That's all. Uh huh. We don't have to know you in person. You put this out here and spew this out here over the internet every day. Every day. Man. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's all we hear. Every day. You know what I'm saying? Hoping you can hook a hook a couple in. And then you mad when people question you or call you on your shit. Go on here and talk about how to slurp up them noodles and stuff my whole mouth. Mm. Go on here. <laughs> so, anyway. Mona just told how she really feels about Phi Sean came on and said April on site. April have been lied on. So, now he's going against Phi So, here we go. And it's so crazy that y'all can't see it because I just told y'all. I was just telling y'all in my last video that Five Babe need to back the fuck up. She still, she still, uh, you know what I'm saying, on certain people's side. Okay, listen. When people are protecting and are in defense mode, it's either gonna be we ain't friends. It's just business. It's just internet. You know, this is just this, this, and that. I'm by myself. That's them. This ain't me. Or it's going to be people going towards wherever they're going towards. Whoever looks like they're going to come out on the strong end, that's where they're going to. That's what, it going, that's what it looks like it's going to go to. And so Sean said on site, April have been lied on. He's going to set the record straight. Of course, whatever Sean says, everybody is going to just go ahead and just slide on it. So let's just see if he goes against uh, Miss Five Babe too, since now Mona then, because you know Sean and uh, Mona, so you you know, you got to watch. You just got to watch. You just got to sit back and you just got to watch and just see how people come together, see how they just separate, see how little things get said here and there. 
And you just got to, it's just like a puzzle. You know what I'm saying? That thousand piece puzzle that's in the doctor's office and you there waiting all along and, and they won't let you check in if you're 15 minutes late. But as long as you on time, you still got to wait an hour to get back there anyway. And you back there trying to put the puzzle together and then you get the puzzle and then it's missing a couple pieces and you back there seeing the doctor. But the next time you come in, you might find those little couple pieces. This is our 10 minute talk. This is our 10 minute update on what the fuck is going on in the YouTube streets. <laughs> Y'all, that was my little five babe impression because you know she'd be like, hmm, hmm. You a real one, five babe. She a real one, y'all. She a real one, but she gonna catch hell for what she did this morning. But just like she said, she stand alone. She a leader. She don't need nobody. Stand alone, baby girl. Stand alone, cause they about to they about to uh, go on here. But but just watch. But it but it's, it's okay, because you know what's true. What Sean says is true. A true queen does stand alone. Not only does a true queen stand alone. By choice, but when everybody else is out of the equation, minus is themselves out of the equation, the queen is who's going to be there. That's why a queen stands alone. Because no matter what happens to these other motherfuckers, the queen will still be standing because they stay true to themselves, they stay true to the situation. And when all the other fuck shit was revealed, they shit was just as they said it was. That's why. Not because a bitch just gonna go stand alone and just, no. Because everybody revealed they self and she the last one fucking standing because she the one who stood in her shit and was real from the jump. So, Miss Fiber. Stand alone, baby girl. Stand in your shit. Spill your own shit. Reveal your own stuff as you have been. And these other motherfuckers that, that's uh, making these little moves, just watch. Just watch how they be laid the fuck out somewhere. Watch how they be laid the fuck out somewhere. will stand alone now if anybody knows how miss Susie and sean fell out let me know i'm talking about the initial fall i'm not talking about her calling him john gacy i'm talking about when they were cool how did they separate how did they choose to not fuck with each other no more y'all let me know i'm gonna go get my daughter i love y'all and talk to y'all later